All right, let me know when you're ready and we can start recording here. By the way, I love this sweater. Well, thank I you. Go to do it. Is it weird seeing people wearing your merch? It's not weird. It's I feel very lucky. Like I feel very lucky that people support me so much. They're like willing to put their brand under their face. Like it says something, you know. Like maybe I'm a huge ass, and <laughs> there you are wearing my shirt. Like oh no, Afro Jack, I support that guy. Well, it should make you feel even better that I've got the shirt under. Oh me. my god. <laughs> <laughs> I am an all-out Afro Mark right now. <laughs> I feel so close to you right now. <laughs> well, Afro Jack, welcome back to America's Dance 30, and welcome back to the top of the charts. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. Congratulations on another number one with Day and Night. Now, you know, you shared how crazy the story is with this song because it took like a year and a half for you guys to put it out and for it to reach number one. As an artist, is it weird still talking about your song that you put out so long ago or that you were working on for so still. long? it's still weird you know like e even when when uh when carrie texted me like carrie is like the head of uh he did all the promo for the record so shout out carrie when when he texted me he's like yo your record's gonna be number one next week he's like i'm like three singles down what are you talking about man? you're like what but song is, but but this is the thing like when you're when you're an artist you put out your song and on that day you think about the song and in the two weeks after, that's the song. And then after that, you're off working on the next song. You're thinking with your head on, oh, this is the next record that's coming. Got to work on that. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's it's difficult sometimes to, to get back like, oh, wait, this is the song that's on the radio now. This is the song what it's about now. Like, it's, it's the same thing with Give Me Everything. Like, when I did Give Me Everything, that song was a year old or two years old when it got released. And then it also took like, I think, six months or something to become number one. And I was like, what? Really? That's that's happening? Yeah, it, it kind of the way I relate to it is kind of like if I posted a cat video and then like a year later, I find out it's got 10 million views. It's like, <laughs> yeah. what the? I posted that a year ago. What the heck? Or, or, or when you when you send a friend of you a dog video, you're like, wow, look at this. And then two years later, they send you the same link. I say, wow, look at this. You're like, really, bro? I, I got to admit, I've done that with a friend. <laughs> but, you know, we're, yeah. we're moving so fast that who knows what we're sending each other. I'm surprised I haven't texted you the same thing five times in a row. Yeah, no. But I, th I think, you know, it's, it's interesting in this time. It shows that it it's not the age of something. It's like the, the quality of product. Like people don't care if it's like from now or five years ago, if it's good, it's good. Well, plus what, what kind of builds into that is all of our feeds not being in chronological order. So we're seeing posts, you know, yeah. from like five days ago. So to us, if it's a quality post, it doesn't matter what day it is. That's true. It's, it's interesting concept when you think about it. I, I never thought about it that way with social media. It's like, yeah, we're, we're living more, in, not necessarily in the now, but in the approximate. Like, between the, la between the last two years and the next two years, that's like, that's like living in the now. I just say we're living the dash. The dash is between when we were born and when we die, and we're just kind of living the dash in between. I guess that's what they really mean when they say, like, living in the now. They don't mean focus everything on everything current, but more so focus on becoming fluid, within time and just being able to enjoy everything as it comes, as it comes to your conscious, even plus, more specific. Plus our attention spans are so short now that, you know, <laughs> Sorry, what? our attention span. Oh, what? <laughs> Afrojack coming in with the dad jokes. Yes. <laughs> now we spoke with you and black V neck a few months ago when the song actually came out and you shared with us how day and night was born. But for everybody that's new to our AD30 fam, can you just really quickly share again how the song came together with you guys? 
Yeah, yeah, sure. So, what up? Hi, I'm Afrojack. <laughs> uh, I signed uh, I signed Black V-neck about two years ago. We we're working on their music. They make amazing tech house dance club music, and they have a very good performance. And then I really wanted to do like a house crossover song with them, so we started working on Day and Night. I called Stargate. Stargate called Money Long. We all called each other. We came together in the studio and we plopped out Day and Night. And then I, I played it for Brian before, and I played it uh, for some other DJs, and I really thought that was going to be it. And then we released it, and it wasn't it. And now it's number one. <laughs> <laughs> now it's number one. So it's very surreal when you think about it, because like the story was, it's literally six months ago that we released it. And the story within our company was like, like the label, because we have our own label. It's like, ah, uh, you know, Sometimes you shoot and sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. And like no one is like on, we don't have an American sector of the label. So our, our contact is very, very sporadic. And then sometimes like, hey, you're about to go number one. You're like, Wait, what? Really? But it, it makes me happy because it like apparently like people really like the song and it, it does well. And it was interesting because I was in America. I was in Miami for like, uh, you know, I was in Miami for a month and a half. And every time I got in the car, they were playing day and night. And I thought like, is, are they doing this to like mess with me? <laughs> and it was on I, I Heart Radio. No, it was like, no, but I swear. So I, I go in the Uber and it's on the radio. I'm like, wow. Am, am I missing something? Like the, the song's doing very well here in Miami. So yeah, no, I'm I'm very happy that it's uh, it's number one, and I'm very happy that everyone is supporting the record and everyone likes it. Like it's it's Black v first uh, radio song, so it's very cool. That's so awesome. And I, you know, the next thing I was going to say to you is you had texted me saying that you were surprised that it went number one. But I remember, you know, a year ago when you first played it for Carrie and all of us. You said you thought it was the best thing in your computer at the time. Is yes. it is it normally the songs that you don't think are going to go number one go number one, and the ones that you think are going to go number one I, don't? I have such a greater for that. I'm so bad at that. Like I just like I love music, and there's some music I get super excited about, and then like it doesn't hit at all. And then there's other music I'm not excited about at all, and it goes double platinum like you know when i did hey mama with david Guetta, he, he sent me like he was working on it and he couldn't figure it out it's like nick can you help me figure this out so he sent it to me i worked on it for two hours i sent it back to him it's amazing you, nick you know how big this is i'm like no i have no idea bro i have absolutely zero idea if you're happy i'm happy that song also is like number five on the billboard chart so that's that was also pretty good. Yeah, so I have an absolutely lousy radar to know what's going to be a hit or not. But that's why I, I play it to my friends and say, like, what do you think, Brian? <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, again, uh, if it makes you feel any better, I am the exact same way with my content. Like, I'll produce something. I'll put a lot of thought into it, thinking that it's going to be the best thing I ever post. And it gets like five views. And then I post something stupid and that's what gets like a hundred thousand views. It's like, oh come yeah, on. Yeah. With Especially you in this day and age, believe the hype. If they like it, they like it. It's not an algorithm. The algorithm when people talk, oh the algorithm doesn't allow people to see my stuff. No. The algorithm is literally people not liking your stuff. <laughs> it's like people clicking away. Ouch. So if you only get five likes, no, it's it's not it's not the algorithm. You just posted your shit. No, no, like. it was the yeah. algorithm. It wasn't my shit content. Yes, yeah, you can you can help. <laughs> it's like people saying Spotify. In, uh, wait, can I say Spotify? Sure. You guys did. I'll take it so out. <laughs> it's like when people talk. <laughs> people talk about streaming series. Like my stuff is getting removed from the playlist. It's probably because you have a high skip rate. <laughs> And the skip rate is literally the thing that people listen to a song and after one minute they say, next. And then, yeah, that dictates the algorithm. And the algorithm says, one million people dislike the song. Take it away. <laughs> no, not you, algorithm. If I never hear the word algorithm again, I will be perfectly yeah. fine in my life. Now, with you guys holding on to Day and Night for as long as you did... Yeah. 
Is that the longest you've held on to a song? There are longer ones, but of course uh, we can say by the day it comes out. But I do have to say very uncomfortably, I, I do not have a stacked hard drive like I used to do. Like most of the songs that I put out over the last two years were like the songs in my hard drive and now they're out. So now I have to make new music again. But I'm, I'm working on some things. I'm working on some things. Well, you know, you're speaking of Geta, David pretty much going through the exact same thing. You know, he was putting out like five or six songs every month because everybody was so locked up during the pandemic and all you guys were just making music that there was such a backlog of music. It is what it is. I'm a music producer, so I better get producing. Yes, get to producing and stop talking about my sh- content congratulations <laughs> on another number one with day and night and please pass along to black v-neck congratulations on their first number one with their first radio song which is so incredible yes i, I will definitely send them uh, your regards and thank you so much for having me thank you for supporting me uh, of course as always and let's let's create some content sometime together <laughs> I know, you know, we haven't spoken, I want to say in like three months or so was the last time we chatted for America's Dance 30, but it felt like forever because during the pandemic, we were talking like every month. Birds. Birds. <laughs> yeah, birds. The birds in Dubai. Now we don't yeah. have the birds and it's like, oh man. I, I know. And I tell you honestly, it's, it's a little bit difficult, like getting back used to it, like with the touring and stuff and all the things that I had time for during lockdown that now I don't have time for anymore. I'm kind of like, hmm, maybe I should like balance a little bit. This is really interesting. It's like, didn't you have that maybe with like with the stuff that you do? Like maybe I'm good with being locked down 20% of the time. Well, see, I actually never went through that because I was still coming in every single day to work. So my schedule never really shifted. But, oh, wow. but I completely see that. And, you know, when everything started opening up again, that was one of my questions was how hard is it to go from 120 miles an hour to zero back to 120 miles an hour? You know, is there a lot of shifting that you have to do? It's, it's not a lot of shifting, but like when you're driving 120 miles an hour for like 15 years, you get used to it. And you go to zero, and it's like very like interesting. Like you're like, wow. Birds. And then you go back to 120, like, yo, this shit is fast. <laughs> like, yo, slow down, slow down. 90's good. 90's good. And, and that's, re- that's really one thing I, I really noticed for myself. 90 is good. I like Lego. I like Legos. And birds. I like Legos and birds. Did you did you uh, unpack your set yet? I did. First of all, that sounds like a very personal question, but yes, I did. <laughs> I, I, I think everyone should show the should see the amazing set I gave you. Maybe you should put it on Instagram. I should actually put it together, is what I should do. You didn't put it together no, yet. No. Come on. Nick, I'm still Come going on. at I'm still going at 120. I don't have time. It's for called birds. Lego Friends. It's for friends. <laughs> that should be our next video is just us putting Lego together the entire time. <laughs> actually, actually, it's it's not a bad idea when you think about it. When you think about it, it's an interesting concept for a vlog, the, like the, the conversation over Lego vlog. We put together the, the baby Legos while talking about all types of musical stuff. And it's kind of like an SMAR thing because you have the clickety sound of the Lego. And you, mic on you, mic on me, mic on the Lego. We might have to look into that to be the next set of chats is Lego chats. <laughs> Lego. Lego. Well, Nick, yes. as always, thank you so much for your time on America's Dance 30. By the way, what thank do you. you and Electra have for the holidays coming up? Christmas. Well, I know you? that Christmas is coming up, but what do you guys have planned? Christmas, New Year's, January 1st, <laughs> January 2nd. Holy <laughs> that the schedule wow (laughs) thank you it's pretty crazy no we're gonna see our family for uh, for christmas it's gonna be fun and then new year's eve you are at marquee in new york city correct no No, (laughs) who told you that i thought i got an option but i'm in dubai i'm in dubai with my wife enjoying vacation oh that's awesome i thought i had seen uh i don't know maybe it was maybe it was like from 2016 or something that you were from last year this i'm always make this mistake because when it's 2022 New Year's, you're thinking about this coming New Year's, coming but we're actually talking about the next year. So you were there last year? Yes, I was there last year. It was amazing. <laughs> so 
so glad. <laughs> so glad the show was awesome. <laughs> I'll see you there in two weeks. Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> Afrojack, thank you so much for your time on America's Dance 30. <laughs> thank you, Brad. No, but really, for real, thanks so much for the support. Uh, this is Afrojack on America's Dance 30. Brian Fink is the best. Number one. <laughs> 